Hey, this is Daryl from Love and the Bike, and I'm uh, very happy to bring you the results from the 2010 Crank Honors. Yeah, I know it's been going on, it seems like forever, um, but the reason is we wanted to do nominations first prior to the voting. Um, I just thought it was fair, instead of just selecting, you know, five blogs in each category that, you know, are top blogs in my opinion, I thought we'd let uh, each of the viewers out there in, uh, you know, the cycling blog world to select who they thought should be in for the final. So it was kind of a long process because the, you know, the nominations went in for a while and then we had the voting, but it's all done and uh, for this year anyways, and we've got some great results. So I want to go ahead and uh, let you guys know um, who the winners are for each of the categories. We, uh, we had tons and tons and tons of votes coming in, which, which tells me that the cycling blog world has a lot of fans out there, which is great to see. So um, that's very exciting in my opinion and I'm sure in yours as well. So let's get at it. Um, let's start off. So let me show you here. Got some fancy uh, iPad stuff here happening. Uh, Crank 2010. Let's go. Okay, so the favorite road cycling blog. Now in this category we had cycling tips. Uh, my main man uh, Wade Wallace out of Australia. We also had low cadence, um, actually low cadence just recently here just had a mean crash and he is not in great condition but he's recovering and he's in good spirits, that's Jonathan over there. So we wish him well. Um, we also had Irish Pelot Peloton, Grit and, Gram Gl Grit and Glimmer and uh, also Confessions of a Bike Junkie. So let's get at it. And the winner, 2010 Best Road Cycling Blog, ready to do it, here we go. Cycling Tips. Wade Wallace out of Australia. Good job, man. Congratulations to Wade. Great blog he's got happening over there. I'll let you show you right now. Excellent, excellent blog. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to take a look. Okay, and so the next category we're going to move on to is uh, lifestyle. I've just got some notes here, so i got to remember who was all in the categories. But we had break Bike Rumor. Uh, Fixomatosis out of Australia as well, a lot of Australian representation. Uh, Donald's Daily Draft. We had Fat Cyclist, I'm sure you've heard of him. He's been getting some good recognition. And we had Drunk Cyclist. So, so we have a, a guy that eats too much as a cyclist and a, and a drunk cyclist. But anyways, okay, so moving on. We're going to go to the next category. Let's see what we got there. Favorite Lifestyle Cycling Blog. And your winner for 2010... Fixomatosis. What's going on, man? We got an Australian s sweep going here. These guys are also from Australia. Great blog. If you haven't seen it, look something like that. Be sure to take a look. They're doing great stuff over there. Okay, so moving on. Mountain bike category. Uh, just so you know, too, one thing I wanted to mention was in that lifestyle category, um, it was actually the closest um, between first and second place. Uh, Donald's Daily Draft came in second. And it was the closest margin, just by just I think it was like ten or twelve votes. So good luck, good luck to or congratulations to Donald as well. Uh, hopefully next year we can get you in the category again, man. Uh, mountain bike category we had Grant's Pre Grant's Preg bike blog, uh, Brickhouse Racing, Oil Can Racer, Greg Rides Trails, and Eddie O'Day. I think is how you say his name, anyways. Some great people in that category as well. Moving on. Let's see what we got. Oops. Let me click that again. There we go. Favorite mountain bike blog. You ready for the winner? Brick House Racer out of the United States. Um, that category there, it's uh, it's not something I'm too familiar with because I'm a mountain biker for fun, but I don't know a lot about it. But I'm sure they've got lots of great stuff going on. Is it take a quick look at her site? If you are a mountain biker, or interested in mountain bike, have a look. Good stuff. Okay, last category, guys. Moving on. This is a big one. Um, believe it or not, out of all the votes that came in, the people that came in first and second place in the bike, uh, commuter, and travel blog category had more votes than any of the other uh, leaders. It's amazing. Um, so definitely there's a lot of people following travel and commuter bikes out there. In the category, we had Going Slowly, which is mostly a travel blog. Uh, Family on Bikes, uh, definitely another travel blog. 
uh, Traveling 2, which is a, a travel bike blog, Commute by Bike, um, also known as uh, Bike Shop Girl. Uh, well, that's her other blog, but this is her commuter blog. Um, she's into commuting and circuit riders. And let's get at her. Last category, favorite commuter traveling biking blog. The winner is Going Slowly. Right on, guys. This is what their site looks like. Beautiful site. Uh, to be honest, I've never heard of this site before. That's one of the great things about Crank is that it's introduced at least me into some new uh, cycling blogs out there. And, and Going Slowly, I'll tell you, they had more votes come in than anybody else. So obviously, they've got a lot of fans. I did want to mention as well, that second place went to uh, my friend the Vogels, family owned bikes. Um, again, they had, even though they came in second within that category, they would have won any other category but with the number of votes that came in for them. It was just amazing. So, congratulations to them as well. Okay, so that wraps up Crank for 2010. Um, now that Crank's over, we still have the Crank directory. So, if you go to cranklisted.com, uh, you can find all the blogs we've got. I think about 300 cycling blogs in different categories right now, which is amazing. We got more coming in every day. Uh, we also have it up on uh, the Loving the Bike website as well. It's kind of like our our huge blog roll, I guess you could call it. Um, so if you want to check it out there as well, um, great stuff going on. I think next year what we're going to try to do is maybe have more categories for voting. The one category for sure that we're going to include is a is a women's bike blog. There's a lot of great bike blogs out there um, that are dedicated primarily to women and we want to include them next year as well. So now that we've done this once, we know what else to do. So we're looking for your feedback, it would be great. Now any of you bloggers, cycling bloggers that are checking this out, be sure to go down below here on the site and uh, put your comments in. We're going to have a lot of people coming in, tuning in uh, specifically to this post to give us or to check out to see who the winners were. Now it's your chance to let them know why you got to be in for the running next year. So uh, it starts right now, man. It starts right now. It's happening a year from now, but we want to make sure everybody knows why we should be voting for you next year. So let's hear it. All right. Cheers, guys. Great blogging out there. Congratulations to all the winners and all those that were uh, finalists. And thanks to all the people that uh, took time to vote. Right on.